welcome back. This is another of our different faces challenge thing episodes. I don't know. Words are hard. <laughs> We're working on another Jane Seymour today. I believe this is the sixth Jane Seymour. No, it's the fifth, isn't it? Isn't it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure now it's the fifth, but we're actually making Wendy Berry from The Private Life of Henry VIII, which was released in 1933. I haven't actually seen this. I tried to find it on a couple streaming sites and I got frustrated and just did not watch it. But the reason why I chose Wendy Berry is she has that really cool, like, silent screen actress look. It was the early 30s, so they hadn't moved away too much from that. And I mean, it was still popular to have that particular look anyways, but you know, she had the shorter hair, the really, really long tapering eyebrows that like, if you look at them now, you're like, those are real long. Those are, those are long boys, <laughs> but they're really interesting. I thought she would be kind of fun to make and she fit, again, my idea of Jane Seymour being like pretty, but still a little bit plain. Like you wouldn't immediately notice her in a crowd, but if you took the time to kind of look at her, yeah, she's pretty. I struggled a lot with her nose though, only because the photos that I could find of Wendy Berry, there were only like three stills that were kind of decent from the movie and like her actual studio photographs, like in some, it looks like her nostrils are lower and others like it's, it's clearly higher. Like her nose is almost up tilted a little bit. So I don't know if there was work done because we know at that point Actually, I don't know. I don't know much about the history of plastic surgery, but I'm pretty sure things were happening at that point, but it was just, it was really hard to do her nose properly. And I struggled quite a bit with it because I was so frustrated. I kind of just went with what looked the best. I also didn't have the right eyebrows for this, but I, overall I'm happy with the ones that I selected. I would need very, very specific custom CC to do these eyebrows justice because like I said, they're very thin and they've got a tail, but the tail, like, borderline is almost going back towards the eyeball. Like, they're a very interesting shape. <laughs> and I wanted her to be a little bit, like, aloof and dignified. I also was struggling with her eyelids. Honestly, I just struggled with creating the sim. She was a harder sim to make than I expected. Part of it was to the, the lighting and a lot of the black and white photos because they did have their own version of Photoshop that was just retouching, but they've had that since cameras existed basically. And so like the lighting would look really weird on her nose and also her eyelids, like she had these very sleepy, like slanted towards the end of her eye, but like in the corners they were bigger. And I had to try to mimic that without too much distortion. Cause at the end of the day, I do want these to be still usable as Sims. And when you get too much distortion, like they just look wonky. I do need to find, it was, it was an eyeshadow that like changed the lid. So you didn't need like separate skins and I can't find it for the life of me. I think it's just gone now, but if you happen to know of where I can find that CC or someone who might have be interested in creating some type of CC like that, again, that would be fantastic. I've tried my hand on it. I can't make Sims makeup. I've tried. It just doesn't look good and I hate it. I can make recolors of clothes, but like that's the extent of my abilities. <laughs> But yeah, just having, basically, you can use any skin tone and just change the eyelid because she's not monolided, but she's got very hooded eyes. And if you move the eye too much, it just gets super shadowed and not in the right way. So, yeah. But overall, I, I do think I did an okay job with her and I'm curious to see what's going to happen when we do the genetic portion of this challenge. I think she's going to have a very distinctive child and her genes will win out over Henry VIII's, but... I've been wrong before, so we're gonna have to find out. I mean, his chin is to be reckoned with, but we'll see. Other than that, I haven't been doing too much today. I've just mostly been cleaning, hanging out with the cats, cause that's how I roll. I finally got Judy moved over full time to the other house, which she's super excited about, but she gets sad when I leave. 
but I'm gonna have to work and all that anyway, so she doesn't need to get used to it. But she likes having the yard. Like, she doesn't do anything in the yard, she just goes outside, and it's very cute. She just stands there for a minute, and she's like, oh, I'm gonna go back inside, because we live in the sun and it's hot out here. <laughs> she also likes to stick her head out the dog door, and I'm like, really? Do you really need to let the air out? It's fine, it's fine. Ugh, I'm ready to be moved though. I am ready to be moved. I'm trying to think. I might not, there might be a lull in videos because I am going to be moving my main computer, which, fun fact, is named Hair Dryer because it looks like a hair dryer. <laughs> it looks like a Dyson. I'm going to be moving that probably this weekend, but I'll be leaving my backup computer in the apartment because I still have to come over here. And yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out my setup for my new office because right now there's currently a whole bunch of flooring in there. So there may be a delay in videos. I'm trying to record things ahead of time, but with this dizziness, I just, a lot of times I need to lie down. <laughs> so I can't record things. So if there's a lull in videos, that is why. Which it's okay if I don't make videos, but I just wanna make sure that I'm letting y'all know since I don't have the community feature thing yet. I'm not sure that I ever will get considering how niche this is, but that's okay. I enjoy making the videos anyways. I do wish that YouTube would just let you have a community no matter how many followers you have though. Like I don't see why you can't just like give updates. <laughs> would be useful. Anyways, I'm just about done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, give it a like if you did, and I will see you in the next one.